Kidney disease is a serious condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the kidneys, which are responsible for filtering waste and excess fluid from the body, become damaged or dysfunctional. One of the most important ways to manage kidney disease is to eat a healthy diet that supports kidney function and promotes overall health. However, some foods can be dangerous for people with kidney disease and can even worsen their condition. In this video, we'll explore the nine foods that people with kidney disease should avoid. By understanding which foods to avoid, you can take steps to protect your kidney health and reduce your risk of complications. It's important to remember that everyone's dietary needs are different, so be sure to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice on which foods are best for you. Without further ado, let's dive into the list. 9. Spinach Spinach is a leafy green vegetable that's packed with nutrients and minerals, including iron and vitamins A and C. But for people with kidney disease, spinach can be dangerous. That's because spinach is rich in oxalate, a compound that can bind to calcium and form kidney stones. Kidney stones are small, hard deposits that form in the kidneys and can cause severe pain and complications. In fact, spinach is one of the highest sources of oxalate among vegetables. A single cup of cooked spinach contains about 700 milligrams of oxalate, which is more than double the amount in other vegetables like broccoli or Brussels sprouts. So if you have kidney disease, it's important to limit your intake of spinach and other high oxalate foods, such as rhubarb, beets, and Swiss chard. While spinach may be a healthy choice for most people, it can be a dangerous choice for people with kidney disease. 8. Potatoes. Potatoes are a popular and versatile vegetable that's enjoyed in many forms, from baked potatoes to French fries. But for people with kidney disease, potatoes can be a dangerous choice. Potatoes are high in potassium, which is a mineral that's essential for many bodily functions. However, when the kidneys aren't working properly, they can't excrete excess potassium from the body, and it can build up in the blood. This buildup of potassium in the blood, known as hyperkalemia, can cause serious complications, including irregular heart rhythms, muscle weakness, and even heart attack. For people with kidney disease, the recommended daily intake of potassium is 2,000 milligrams or less. But a single large baked potato can contain as much as 900 milligrams of potassium. That's almost half of the daily limit for people with kidney disease. So while potatoes may be a healthy choice for most people, they can be a dangerous choice for people with kidney disease. 7. Cauliflower. Cauliflower is a member of the cruciferous vegetable family, which includes broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage. Like other cruciferous vegetables, Cauliflower is a good source of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin K, and folate. But for people with kidney disease, cauliflower can be dangerous due to its high content of vitamin K. Vitamin K is a nutrient that's essential for blood clotting. However, for people who take blood thinning medications, such as warfarin, coumadin, vitamin K can interfere with the medication's effectiveness. When the body has too much vitamin K, it can decrease the effects of blood thinners, which can increase the risk of blood clots. This can lead to serious complications, including stroke and heart attack. The recommended daily intake of vitamin K for adults is 90 micrograms. But a single cup of cooked cauliflower contains almost 80 micrograms of vitamin K, which is close to the daily limit. 6. Cucumber. Cucumbers are a refreshing and hydrating vegetable that's often enjoyed in salads and as a snack. They're low in calories and contain several vitamins and minerals, including vitamin K and vitamin C. But for people with kidney disease, cucumbers can be dangerous due to their high potassium content. Potassium is a mineral that's essential for many bodily functions, including muscle and nerve function, heart health, and fluid balance. However, for people with kidney disease, high levels of potassium in the blood can lead to serious complications, including irregular heart rhythms and heart attack. A single medium-sized cucumber contains about 500 milligrams of potassium. That's more than a third of the daily limit for people with kidney disease. So if you have kidney disease, it's important to limit your intake of high potassium foods like cucumbers. While cucumbers may be a healthy choice for most people, they can be a dangerous choice for people with kidney disease. Five. 
Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are a popular and nutritious food that's often enjoyed as a healthier alternative to regular potatoes. They're rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin A, vitamin C, and potassium. But for people with kidney disease, sweet potatoes can be dangerous because of their high potassium content. As we've discussed, high levels of potassium in the blood can cause serious complications for people with kidney disease. A single medium-sized sweet potato contains about 700 milligrams of potassium. That's almost three times the recommended daily limit for people with kidney disease. So if you have kidney disease, it's important to avoid or limit your intake of sweet potatoes. While sweet potatoes may be a healthy choice for most people, they can be a dangerous choice for people with kidney disease. It's important to note that there are other nutritious and delicious vegetables that are low in potassium, such as carrots, green beans, and spinach. Four, tomatoes. Tomatoes are a popular and nutritious fruit that's enjoyed in a variety of dishes, from pasta sauce to salsa. They're rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin K, and lycopene, an antioxidant that's been linked to cancer prevention. However, for people with kidney disease, tomatoes can be dangerous because of their high potassium content. In people with kidney disease, high levels of potassium in the blood can lead to serious complications, including bladder problems. When potassium builds up in the blood, it can cause a condition called hyperkalemia, which can lead to a variety of symptoms, including bladder problems. One of the most common bladder problems caused by hyperkalemia is urinary retention, which occurs when the bladder is unable to empty properly. This can lead to a variety of symptoms, including urinary frequency, urgency, and incontinence. 3. Broccoli. Broccoli is a nutritious vegetable that's rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin K, and folate. It's also a good source of fiber, which is important for digestive health. But for people with kidney disease, broccoli can be dangerous for two reasons. Broccoli is high in oxalate, a compound that can combine with calcium to form kidney stones. Broccoli is also high in vitamin K, which can interfere with blood thinning medications. 2. Green peas. Green peas are a nutritious vegetable that's rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin K, and folate. They're also a good source of protein, fiber, and complex carbohydrates, which are important for energy and muscle health. But for people with kidney disease, Green peas can be dangerous because of their high protein content. People with kidney disease often have difficulty processing protein, which can lead to a buildup of nitrogenous waste products in the blood. This can lead to a variety of symptoms, including fatigue, nausea, and muscle weakness. Green peas are especially high in protein, with a single cup of cooked green peas containing about 8 grams of protein. This is more than the daily limit for some people with kidney disease. So if you have kidney disease, it's important to limit your intake of green peas and other high-protein foods, such as beans, nuts, and red meat. 1. Kidney beans. Did you know that kidney beans can actually be harmful to people with kidney disease? It might seem strange, but there are two reasons why kidney beans can be dangerous for people with kidney disease. First, kidney beans are high in potassium, which can cause serious complications for people with kidney disease. Second, kidney beans are also high in protein, which can be difficult for people with kidney disease to process. So you might be wondering, why should I care about kidney beans if I don't have kidney disease? Well, even if you don't have kidney disease yourself, you probably know someone who does. And if you're cooking for someone with kidney disease, it's important to avoid using kidney beans in your recipes. Instead, try using low potassium and low protein alternatives such as white beans or lentils. These alternatives are just as nutritious and can be used in many of the same recipes as kidney beans. Conclusion. Remember, kidney disease is a serious condition, and it's important to take steps to protect your kidney health. Eating a healthy diet that supports kidney function can make a big difference in your overall health and well-being. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and information. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family members who may benefit from this information.